last we heard, you said we needed a quantum shift. We needed something dramatic, something to shift the momentum. Have you done it? Have you turned the tide? I believe we're doing that now. I believe that we have changed the way we operate in Afghanistan. We've changed some of our structures. And I believe that we are on the way to convincing the Afghan people that uh, we are here to protect them. Already? We've been at this for about seven months now. Despite what General McChrystal told Diane Sawyer, U.S. and coalition forces are not turning the tide. In late December 2009, Major General Michael Flynn gave a much more candid assessment in his presentation, State of the Insurgency. Flynn's presentation says, the Afghan insurgency can sustain itself indefinitely. The Taliban retains required partnerships to sustain support, fuel legitimacy, and bolster capacity. And Taliban influence is expanding, contesting, and controlling additional areas. The presentation goes on to state that regional stability is rapidly decreasing and getting worse, that kinetic events, that's violent incidents related to the war, are up 300% since 2007 and another 60% since 2008, and with much greater frequency of attacks and in varied locations. Flynn's presentation goes on to state that the organizational capabilities of insurgents and operational reach are qualitatively and geographically expanding. The Taliban now has shadow governors in 33 of 34 provinces as of December 2009, and the strength and ability of shadow governance is increasing. Contrary to McChrystal's statement, the information in Flynn's presentation makes it clear that U.S. military policies were not and are not the answer in Afghanistan. I don't think that uh, a major uh, conventional military force, uh, which whatever its, uh, its strategic intent is, is going to look to local people uh, like a, a, a colonizing uh, occupation army uh, is going to succeed in the long run in Afghanistan.